good afternoon and a very good evening to you all, the good and wonderful people of the tube. Hope you're today, hope you're in Grant and all's well in your world. Uh, today, people tube, we're going to do a shootout between my two favourite pedals to get John Fashanti's dirty clean tone. Uh, and basically, the, the aim of this little non scientific experiment is to find does one do the John dirty clean better than the other? Uh, I use both quite a lot. Uh, I have my jackhammer on a different pedal board. My main, on my main gigging board, I have the Golden Plexi, and on my kind of recording board at home, uh, set up in my room all the time, is the is the jackhammer. Uh, I also have a, another pedal board set up now as well with another with another Golden Plexi. That's that's my backup bow for gigging. Anyway, like I say, these are what give these are my always on pedals. Basically, I, I very 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 rarely ever turn these things off. They're always on. And like I say, they give me that kind of like John Fashanti-esque dirty clean. You know, is it exact? Not particularly, no, but it's never going to be. You know, it's an approximation of John's tone. Like, you know, we, we, we can't get exact. We're not him. We don't have his gear. We don't have his brain and his fingers and all his guitars and his leads. You know, we don't have that. So, um, and again, in my experience of trying quite a lot of different overdrive pedals, distortion pedals, whatever, these are the two reigning champions uh, for the longest time, I, I had a Tube Screamer that did okay, but hated the DS2, and the DS2 hated it. Uh, I tried the Boss SD1, that didn't really work. I've tried a couple of others over the years, and the two I keep coming back to all the time for me were these two, and they just worked. So today, Boo Tube, what we're going to do is we're going to just do a shootout between the two and see which one gets closest you know is it the jackhammer or is it the golden plexi and which one sounds the closest to john's dirty clean tone uh i will punctuate this as well peter tube i don't go for john's tone after californication i tend to go for the californication era tone all the time so it's a lot darker it's more distorted than by the way stadium arcadium uh and in into into now times uh, so bear that in mind, Pichu, when you're listening to the sound examples, I don't go for the more brighter tones that John had later on. I go for the Californication era, uh, and I'll talk a bit more about that in another video another time. Anyway, uh, so let's, uh, so yeah, between these two. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a pass. Uh, we'll start with the Jackhammer. So the Jackhammer, uh, sorry, Golden Plexi and then the Jackhammer. I'll get there in the end. One day. He's very special, this boy. Anyway... Uh, yeah, we're going to use the Black Strat today, going through the Orange Super Crush, um, set ridiculously clean, and these the pedals are doing all, doing all the heavy lifting. So we're going to start with the Golden Plexi, then Jackhammer, and what we're going to do is we're going to do like a funky kind of can't stoppy kind of thing on the bridge pickup with both pedals. So Golden Plexi, Jackhammer, then we'll do a more cordially, cordal, cordally, cordal thing, like Jimi Hendrix, John Fashanti things on the neck pickup. Uh, plexi jackhammer and then i'll do a solo with the ds2 on the neck pickup only uh with each one and we'll see how well you know we'll see how different the ds2 responds to each of these pedals so um yeah without further ado people tube shall we get into this so um as usual i want to hear your thoughts as well after you've heard the five sound examples let me know in the comment section below which one you uh, thought was closer and why. You know, was it the jackhammer? Was it golden plexi? What was it about that sound that makes you go, that's definitely more like John's uh, like 1999, 98, 2000s guitar tone? Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, so uh, without further ado, those people tube, let's get going, shall we? Yes, let's do that. Just realised, people with YouTube, before we get into the sound things, I forgot to tell you how I've got the pedals set up because I'm clever like that. So, uh, let you know. Uh, let's start with the Golden Plexi. So, the Golden Plexi is set with volume at 12 o'clock, volume straight up. Tone is turned all the way off. And I have the gain at about, say, 8 o'clock, maybe just back from 8 o'clock. Uh, every Golden Plexi I've played has a sweet spot on it, really far down. And again, that's why mine's got like manky white tack on it. It was white at one point it's kind of black and gross now because of all the gigs it's done um but everyone everything's got every different pedal's got a kind of a sweet spot uh so mine is set up about eight o'clock give or take so that's how the golden plex is set up just to recap volume at 12 o'clock tone all the way off and gain is at eight o'clock so jackhammer now 
Uh, I've got the jackhammer set to the o OD mode, so overdrive mode. I have get, uh, the volume at 3 o'clock. Gain is at 11 o'clock. Treble and bass are not used. They're turned all the way down. Uh, and then I have... Uh, I can never figure out which one's what on this one. So, yeah, frequency, uh, the top dial, because they're dual concentrics. The little one on top is turned all the way up. And the bottom one, Contour, is at 12 o'clock. So just to recap, OD mode, uh, Gain is at uh, 11 o'clock, Volume is at 3 o'clock, uh, Treble and Bass are turned down all the way to zero, and then Contour is at 12 o'clock, and Frequency is turned all the way up. So just let you know, that's how the pedals are set up. Uh, so let's get to it, shall we? Let's make some John-esque kind of not rip-off riffs. <laughs> Over the tube. There you go. That's the five sound examples of the Golden Plexi and the Jackhammer. Right, okay. To me, the out and out winner, the one that sounds more like John to me, is the Jackhammer. Uh, it just seems to have more of whatever that thing is. And it, it does sound a little bit more like it. It, sound, it sounded. Um, it cut more, there was just, I don't know, it, I, I can't even think of the words to be perfectly honest with you, but for me personally, listening back, I thought the Jackhammer got the closest. Uh, the Golden Plexi wasn't that far behind it, but it was darker. I mean, you probably get around that by turning the tone up, but I wouldn't really recommend that, because the tone on the Golden Plexi can get a bit, bit nasty and, and, and pointy. Sharp, pointy teeth. Um, but, yeah, to me, the one that sounded closest to John was the Jackhammer. Uh, it, just from my you know brief listening back to them just then, it really did. It, it seemed to have a bit more of that. Like I say, the, the Golden Plexi was a little bit too dark for his tone. Uh, it, it just didn't. It didn't quite have it. I mean, it was pretty. It's pretty close. You know what I mean? It's it's not. It's not like it's like a million miles off it. But it, it, it's it's this is closer in my opinion. But the Jackhammer, uh, the, the Golden Plexi is amazing, and I still recommend it for that thing. But um. But yeah, I mean, maybe maybe turn the tone up, maybe. It's maybe 9 o'clock. I wouldn't dare say turn it up any further than that. I don't know. But again, it depends, you see. Because I'm running through an orange here. And the oranges are a lot darker than... Oh, I've just dropped the golden plexi. That was clever. Uh, uh, my orange is a lot darker sounding than my Marshall. Um, so again, it'll depend on quite a lot of factors. Leads, guitars, amps... Uh, but you can always dial them in. I mean, I'm pretty sure if I turned the tone up to about 9 o'clock on the Golden Plex, I could get it closer to the Jackhammer. But they don't sound 
exactly the same. I have tried that in the past. Um, I'll tell you what, people, do. let's try that now. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll plug them back in, and let's just give it a whirl. So we'll plug the Jackhammer back in, uh, and then we'll plug the Golden Plexi back in. And what we'll do is, well, I'll try, and I'll, I'll record it as well. I'll just film it quick on, on, on the old cam. Um, let's see if we can get the Golden Plexi a little bit brighter to where, where's the, where the Jackhammer is. Let's see if that's a, a double thing. So, uh, so yeah, back in a sec. Okay, Pucci, what did you think? I didn't think it came really close. As soon as I started to turn the tone up on the Golden Plexi, it kind of got harsh. Uh, it was kind of thin and wispy, and it, it just didn't really quite... It didn't do it, if that makes any sense. It, did, it didn't quite do what the uh, the gold, uh, sorry, the jackhammer does. So, for me, if I was to pick between the two, um, which does the John Fashanti tone better, I would pick the jackhammer. But out of the two, which would one, which one would I pick to have? I would pick the Golden Plexi. Um, hence why it's always on my board and I use it more than the Jackhammer. I love both pedals, but I just like the Golden Plexi more. I don't know... Um, I do know exactly why. It's just a little bit smoother. Uh, the Jackhammer has the teeth uh, and it's you know it cuts a bit more. But the Jackhammer cuts... But it's a little bit smoother. It doesn't have such sharp edges, if that makes any sense. And because of that, out of the two, I would pick, for me, for my sound, uh, which is kind of like, you know, uh, a, t a take off Jimi Hendrix, John Frusciante, and all this lot. Um, it's the it's the Golden Plexi for me. I just love the Golden Plexi. Uh, if I was to join a Chili Peppers tribute band tomorrow, uh, I'd be using the Jackhammer. But... I, I I just prefer the way the Golden Plexi feels and sounds, and especially the way it feels. I don't know, there's something about... I don't know, there's just something very special in the Golden Plexi. There really is. I don't, I, don't, I don't know exactly how to describe it, people of the tube, but I love it. Anyway, uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below, people of the tube. Let me know uh, which one you preferred and why. Which one would you have as well? Like, you know, outside of it, you know, which one is the best for John Fashanti's kind of like Californication era tone or John Fashanti in general, which one would you have? Because like I say, for me, the one I got closest to John was the Jackhammer, but it's not the one I would pick. I would pick the um, the, the Golden Plexi over over the Jackhammer. So let me know what your thoughts are, people of the tube in the comment section below, and I will see you again very soon for another video. Have a great morning, afternoon, and good evening. And goodbye now. Oh, and by the way, if you like the videos I do here, please consider becoming a patron at Patreon. Links are down there for that, as well as links to my music and where to follow me on the old Stinstagram. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Have a great one. Goodbye now. Thanks for watching. I'll, well, shut up, Dave. Go.